then, the Blue Beetle DC Universe trailer came out yesterday, and I'm sort of sat here laughing because the fact that this is actually airing in cinemas and we didn't get Batgirl makes me sort of just go, what's the difference? Because, you know, we watch this trailer, the, the, the suit... <clears throat> Looks really nice. I've got to, I've got to admit that. Solo Maradona, you know, I love him in Cobra Kai. Seems like he's going to do a decent job, but it just seems like a very. You watch, you watch any Marvel film or you watch any of the DC films. You know, a Batman. You watch Superman. It looks like it looks should be in cinema. You watch this. It looks like it should air on Disney Channel, uh, and I say that because the sets seem really simple. The, 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 the it looks cheesy. It's a typical plot. You know, he's found something that isn't his. He's utilizing it. He'll obviously master how to use it by the end of the film. Someone else wanted it. He'll go up against them. They'll take his family kidnapping. Very predictable film. Um, And fuck, you know, I just don't know. This trailer just looked like we've seen it a million times. Like, it, as someone pointed out on Twitter, it looks like a Power Ranger. I just don't know. It just looks... There's something about it that it looks fun. <clears throat> it looks cool. Zola will do a good job. Um, but I just think the fact that this was ever commissioned to air in cinemas and not on HBO Max, and the fact that it's going to officially release, and you know, like you know, I said Batgirl was cancelled. It makes me to it may, makes me wonder how bad Batgirl was in comparison to this. I'm trying to think because this has no way near touched the, even the bad film, like Suicide Squad. You watch the trailer, you're intrigued by. I mean, the bad the 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 first Suicide Squad. Um, I just watched this trailer and I go, oh, it looks fun. It looks cheesy. It looks cringy. Um, you know, him flying up to space. That was an incredible shot. I just, I just don't. I, th I think we've seen this film a million times. It's not that we've seen a superhero film a million times. It just feels like a plot that we've seen. You know, they find something. It's not theirs. Chased down by bad guys, they have to fight them, and ultimately he'll have to deal with one consequences of being a superhero. His friends, you know, trying to work with his friends. He has like a sort of back cave of sorts. That the shit that that had the blue beetle on front looked really bad and cheap. And as you can say, the sets are just really small scale. There's just something about this trailer that just didn't seem like top scaled. It seemed like the budget was really small. Uh, but I think I'm going to have a good time with it. You know, they, I, I don't think. And this is why I don't know. It seems to have had that long. It just looks like a very C type film. And it's going to be real. I, I just. I'm not hyped for this film at all. And it's funny people get excited, you know, like people in the Cobra Kai committee be like, oh my God, it's the best thing ever. Some people outside the Cobra Kai are like, oh my God, it's the best thing. It's like, I get you to be excited, but don't slag off what everything Marvel has done, you know, trailer wise, production wise, you know, even the bad stuff looks a million times better than this. Moon Knight, Miss Marvel, you know, the stuff that was hated on Hawkeye. The trailers actually looked like they were professional. This just looked like it could have been cut by a random person who is just like semi-professional amateur in, in camera work. So definitely go check it out. But, you know, I just, it looked really poor, the trailer. And the only thing that kept it alive was the, was the suit. People say this is a real suit he's wearing, but I think it is CGI. And you know it is look CGI because you can't tell Zola Malawaya is moving his mouth under the suit. So you definitely tell it's cgi if not, it's probably a mixture. That's what I'm going to go with. But anyway, not a big fan of the trailer, not a big fan of how it looks. The only thing that's going for it is Zolo Maradoya. And I think he should, he'll probably kill this role because he's brilliant at what he does. But again, we'll have to wait and see for August. Uh, so let me know down below in the comments your thoughts on the trailer. Do you enjoy it? Did you not enjoy it? Let me know. And I'll keep you posted on any more trailers that come out for Blue Beetle. And I've got to admit, the hype was not worth it. So DC... I'm only got my hopes up for Flash because that trailer looks fantastic. And obviously Aquaman, if that's any good or even if there's any point of even watching it. So I'll keep you posted anyway. Back for more soon. Subscribe and like. Goodbye.